Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to take this face and put it onto this face. So let's get started. Um, we're going to use the lasso tool and I'm going to draw around her face like this. Careful not to touch any of her features like the hair or don't get too close to the chin. Just get the main facial features like that. Now, you'll notice we've got here this thing that says feather. Feathering has to do with the edge. You don't want the edge to be too hard. It'll make it look like you've just cut it out like a piece of paper and stuck it on like, a, like from a magazine. That's not going to look good. So we're going to, let's go 20 pixels and see what that's like. So if I go Command C for copy, or I can just go to file and go, no, edit, sorry, and go copy. Command C, or I can go, yeah, that'll do. And then I've gone Command C, and then Command V for paste, um, or paste. You'll notice it's created a new layer with, if I hide that one, just that image. Now you'll see the feathering is 20 pixels uh, wide, which is good. Depending on the size of your original image is depending on how big your feathering should be. So if it's a small photo, you might only need four or five pixels. We'll see. Um, so now I can, with my, with that tool there, I can grab that now and move it over to here. Um, could go a little bit higher. Use my arrow key just to adjust a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to hide that layer for the moment. I'm going to do the same with this guy. Now this is particularly easy. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, this is easy because the two images, the faces are the same size. The faces are the same kind of lighting. Um, so, and the same sort of color tone. You don't have to do much adjustment. They're looking the same direction. Everything about it is very similar. So when you're doing this kind of thing, um, it's important to what have I done? Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what I do. It's important to make sure that your images are sort of match up a little bit. So school photos are handy; they're easy to do. Um, okay, I've just made one extra layer. Let's delete that one. Sorry. All right, back to this layer. Let's do that again. We'll hide that layer. Sorry. We'll quickly draw around his face again. Oh, I know what's wrong. I'm on the wrong layer. Make sure that when you're selecting your image that you are actually, or when you're um, yeah, using this tool, that you're actually on the right layer. Otherwise, it won't work, obviously. So, quickly draw around. Ooh, that was a bit wonky. That may affect things a little bit. We'll see. Okay, that's pretty good. Command C for copy, Command V for paste. There's my new layer. Um, now I can select that layer and move it over here. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we put that one back on. A little bit strange, a little bit weird, but it's not bad, is it? Um, so you can do that with, you can put your image on a celebrity or something like that. Who knows? Oh, speaking of celebrities, let me show you um, one that I made a little while back. Uh, this is One Direction with Nicolas Cage all over them. So, yeah, so this one is a little bit trickier. Um, there's different, each one is a different picture of Nicolas Cage. They're all Nicolas Cage, but um, as you can see, there's the uh, the actual images. Now I've had to go and change the color tone and things like that to get them to match. Um, so for example, um, to get this one to look any good, um, that's where's that one? I had to go into image, adjustments, hue and saturation. Um, originally it looked, oh, oh, originally it looked something like that maybe, and it just looked too red for the picture. So I'm trying to look at the skin tone and his skin tone and match it up. So yeah, it's tricky. If you just can't get the skin tones right, you could turn it into a black and white photo. That doesn't look too bad. 
Um, but yeah, so this is the sort of thing you can do. It's good fun uh, and enjoy. That was.